Happy Monday, YouTubers. <coughs> uh, I'm just making a follow-up video. I've been getting quite a few questions on my high-pressure aeroponics system, but uh, I've been really busy with work last three days, so finally I have a chance to come back and uh, do an update here so you can see how big these are growing, or getting, I should say. Uh, these are Butter Crunch, or Butter Head. Uh, they're doing pretty good. Uh, they're getting really big. <clears throat> Here's my hand. A little comparison. Sorry about the shadow. It's afternoon right now. And then over here I have just uh, some regular lettuce. It doesn't have any special name. The package just says lettuce on it. And they're growing really well as well. Um, here's some of my crack key containers. Uh, these are just uh, radishes. More radishes. I've had some good success growing these all year round. They grow in the summer, even in the hot, hot summer when it's 115 out, they do really good. And uh, in the winter time, they surprisingly still grow. They don't grow as fast, but they do grow, and I've been eating radishes all winter. Uh, anyways, we'll get back to the high pressure system here. Somebody was asking me about uh, if I used an ex expansion chamber, and the answer is no. I actually didn't even know what that was when I started this, because I had, I had no idea what I was doing. It was just an idea that popped in my head. Started out with... Uh, some fountain pumps and some low pressure plastic sprinkler heads. We'll go ahead and turn this off and then uh, we can look inside and I'll show you the roots. The roots are really big now. They look really cool. All right, let's see. Go down in here. Oh, they're nice and clean. They're all white. Here's one of the misting nozzles. It's a brass uh, misting nozzle and then it has a stainless steel apparatus in the center. I bought these at the hardware store for about $9 for, I think they came in packs of four. I really haven't had any issues with them. Uh, before I was using just plain brass ones and they were, they were clogging up. But I think that had something to do with the timer I was using. Because, uh, when the timer shuts off the system, the nutrients sort of dry out a little bit and they were slowly clogging up. So I got rid of the timer. I got rid of the clogging problem. Oh wow, if you look down here, I don't know if you can see it, but this root goes down about two feet all the way down to the bottom and is spreading out through the bottom. Looks like this one is too. Holy cow. I don't know about you, I would say this thing works pretty doggone good. I'm going to build two more of these and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to give them away, away to St. Vincent de Paul in downtown Phoenix. They, they converted their entire parking lot into a garden. And uh, first I want to go down there and talk to them and you know maybe check out what they got going on. Maybe they already have some of these or something like this. And, they won't want it, but I'll go down there and ask anyways. I'm just going to give it to them if they'll use it. I don't want any money for it, but I think it's more important to help other people. We have a lot of homeless veterans here in Arizona, and I just think that's crappy. You know, these guys put their lives on the line to keep us free and safe, and, you know, they're living on the streets. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. kind of get sidetracked. I really appreciate all the questions and comments you guys leave. Uh, I don't get too many of them, but when I do, I'm really happy to answer them. Kind of looking forward to eating some of this. I might just rip off some of it right now and eat it. Yeah, we're just going to do that. Here's a little leaf. It's beautiful. It's so green. It's soft. It has almost no smell. Mmm. 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 Yeah, they taste really good. <clears throat> and then over here, here's uh, some more of my, uh, I wouldn't say experiments anymore because these are all successful and they work really well. So I made these halves of uh, food grade 
our food safe plastic drum it's 55 gallons I cut the cut it in half and then I got some three quarter inch styrofoam here you can see that sorry I have a runny nose I just ate lunch uh, anyways these are all full of butterhead lettuce and you see the little seedlings down there sprouting out and it looks like <clears throat> all 12 have sprouted so that's good Let me pull one out here look inside see the water in there um, and this system you don't have to water it you only put water in it one time uh, it's really cool and then uh, every time it rains it kind of refills itself um, I put some holes in it so it wouldn't flood and kill the plants when they get older and then this one we got about I think 40 yeah 40 holes and 40 radishes and it looks like I have about a 99% success rate and sprouts in there they're doing really good too I'm thinking in about three weeks I'll be eating some of these and sharing some of them with my friends I want to make four or five more of them so I can have radishes all the time because they're really good and they just you know it's a good snack too you can eat the leaves on them as well I find that they taste like uh, they taste like green beans and then over here this is the first time I've shown this sorry about my handwriting I have really bad handwriting but I'm trying to uh, to grow a giant radish so I'm just gonna let this one go I'm not gonna eat it I'm gonna let it go for probably two or three months see what happens and then I'm gonna eat it and then over here uh, I decided to, to design and build my own greenhouse and I did this for less than a hundred dollars it's just stuff you could buy at the hardware store right now this is a three-quarter inch PVC tube I bought uh, 14 sticks of it this is 14 feet wide or 15 feet wide sorry uh, it's 10 feet deep so 10 feet from here over to there and then it's about six feet tall I'm a little bit taller than that so I have to duck a little bit but that's okay um, my neighborhood's an HOA so it can't be taller than the fence so the neighbors can't complain about it here's one of my older raised beds I have some spinach growing down here and there's my dead eggplants the, the winter killed them I'm not sure if they're gonna come back but the stems on them are still green down here I don't know if you can see that but there's still some green there these are there's still uh, moisture in them they're not totally dead the leaves have dried up but I think they might recover and grow back so I'm gonna leave them alone and see what happens and then over here I have two more of my uh, crack keys that were 55 gallon drums that I cut in half and here's some beautiful beautiful lettuce um, these are really big this one's about the size of a softball this one's about the size of a baseball and then the whole thing you can see here it's much bigger than my hand and I'm not a little person so you could tell these are pretty darn big and then here we have a broccoli I've never grown broccoli before so uh, this was fun to do I plan on growing a lot more because I like to eat broccoli but if you can see down in there there's the little broccoli bud it's not quite ready to harvest but uh, from what I read you want to harvest it before these pop open so maybe I'll cut this off and eat it and then I just have some more lettuce growing these are butterhead lettuce like in the grow towers and then here's some that are in full sun They don't have any kind of shade or any kind of cover, so they're growing really fast. I can pull one of these out and you can check out the inside of the container. And there's the root mass. It's uh, very healthy. Those are all very white and clean. There's no brown or dark coloration. There's the, the nutrient solution inside. I can get this back in there with one hand. There's a lot of roots. I have to twist them. And then they go back in. 
And then among the, the lettuce, there's a couple of radishes. Here's one here. It's actually starting to turn into a bulb at the bottom. So this I'll be eating this guy in about a week, I imagine. Here's another view of the greenhouse. There's a lot of grass up in the back there. I need to pull that out. I've just been so busy working. I'm really happy to finally update these, uh, make an updated video for you guys. And again, if you have any questions or comments, you know, post them down at the bottom. No question or comment is a dumb question or comment. You know, if you don't like it, that's okay. You know, everybody does things differently. And then eventually, I'm going to build more greenhouses back here. And I'm going to start selling lettuce and vegetables at the farmer's market. And my newest experiment, or invention I should say, probably shouldn't be showing you guys this, but, eh, what the hell. This is for growing carrots. Uh, so far it's working. Every single one of these has carrots sprouting in it. And they're growing faster than they would in normal soil. This is uh, just cocoa core. And every single one of these has a carrot sprout. So it's 100% successful. So this works. I can't wait to pull a carrot out of here and eat it. Um, I know they take a long time to grow. So I'm not going to get into the details on how this works because it's pretty complicated. But anyways, I just wanted to show that off. And I'll go back over here and turn the misting system back on so that the plants don't die. And I gotta go over and purge, purge the air, or burp the system as I like to say. There's the burp. Hold this over here so I'm not wasting water. Alright, looks like I got all the air out. Alright. And then we'll open the top and then you can see the, the actual mist in action. Open this guy up. See they're all working really well. I'm not having any issues with any clogging anymore. It just runs 24 hours a day. Um, I put a tester on here to see how much electricity I was using with this. And it's about $3. Uh, $3 a month to run this thing. It uses very little power. And it's, so far it's working great. I just covered it up with a bucket and drilled some holes in there because I haven't had time to build an actual nice looking housing for it. I just wanted to keep something or make something to keep it from getting wet when it rains out. I know I live in Arizona, but when it rains, boy, it really, really rains. <clears throat> and pretty soon I'm going to start uh, experimenting with aquaponics and I'm going to try to grow my own fish. I have a friend named Beaker that's uh, he's something of a wizard in that field, so I'm going to bother him all the time with questions <laughs> because I want to learn as much as I can about it and I'm gonna start out small probably with some goldfish and see what happens and then uh, once I get comfortable with it and I feel uh, confident I'll move up to tilapia and start growing larger fish but anyways a uh, happy Monday to everybody out there and thanks for watching and uh, I hope nobody has a case of the Mondays. I know I don't. I'm in a great mood today. It's actually my weekend. I took today off so I can relax because, like I said before, I've been really busy with work. But anyways, thanks for watching and have a good day.